I'm Grace Walden and I'm going to talk to you about divorce today. So divorce is very common in our culture today and it happens throughout so many children's lives. It has very many repercussions on the child based on how old they are and throughout their entire life, but it can also build their um, sibling relationship and it can help mend the parent-child relationship. So building, I mean the repercussions that occur are so many different things. From about birth to six years old, they're very similar, um, and they become very dependent on their parent because they are not developmentally mature. Um, and so that can look like a lot of different things, um, but one thing that stands out a whole lot is that they just desire this closeness. Um, that They desire to be close to someone, more than likely it's their parent's. But they can also just desire to be close to a teacher, a babysitter, a nanny, whoever it may be, because they have this fear that someone's going to leave them. And so they just desire this closeness. That's why a lot of times if a child has divorced parents, they cry all the time whenever someone's leaving them because they just think that they're going to leave and not come back. Um, but then as they get older, um, they kind of start to act out more. Um, and a lot of that's because of puberty. Um, they kind of start to get in that age where they're wanting attention from people. But it can also occur because they don't necessarily get attention from their parents. Um, they can kind of just be like pushed under the rug. And the divorce just becomes so overpowering in their family that they don't necessarily get the attention that they need as a child. And so they start acting out um, in front of their peers and their teachers uh, in church situations, they'll just act out to get any attention that they can get. And so that can be a difficult situation. Um, they'll do it because they are afraid that they their relationships are not going to sustain them, that their relationships are just going to fail. Um, and this actually occurs a lot in sibling relationships. And so jumping into that, sibling relationships, a lot has to do with half-siblings and step-siblings. Um, step siblings actually feel this weight lifted off their shoulder whenever parents get to get a divorce. They don't like whenever their their biological parent marries someone else. Um, they love it whenever they get a divorce because it's almost like okay, my parents mine again. Like I don't have to share them with anyone else. But with a half sibling, it's not necessarily that way because they're born into this like divorced family and it's all that they know. But with biological families, it's the exact opposite of what the step family feels because whenever the divorce happens, they don't know anything else. And so it just throws them all off. Um, but with the parent bonds, that is a huge thing because you have to be open with your child. You have to be willing to be vulnerable and share things with them, but you also have to know when to draw the line and when to be say, like, that is not something that I need to share with my child. Because if you're open with your child, they'll be open with you. Um, which I think is something that we as adults don't necessarily think of because we think that we have to put on this space in front of children, but that's not the case. Um, but there is an issue with custodial parents um, and those are normally the mothers, they tend to, not necessarily the mothers, but the, who, if the child lives with a custodial parent, um, then the child will normally have bad feelings or be rude or think bad things about the other parent. So if it's the father that does not have custody of the child, then they will start to think bad things about them. Whether it's just coincidence or if it's because the mother's side of the family will accidentally say things around the child, whatever it may be, those things stick with the child. And so they just need to be careful of that because that can really ruin the child's relationship with their father or with the non-custodial parent. Um, but yeah, divorce is something that's going to stick with us for a very long time. It's getting more and more common as generations continue and so we just need to learn how we can grow with that and how to make it not this horrible thing because yes it is bad but it can be something that we can grow from and learn from and build our families to grow closer
So yeah, thanks for listening.